Washington. Will I say hello? You have to say hello. They, they love you, you know. They Hi. ask. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello from the nation. Hello from the nation. And to all the October babies. And to all the October babies. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. Uh, In celebration of Adrian's Adrian. Adrian's birthday today. Yes. yes. But Hi. this might go up later. Adrian's birthday is 7th of October. Yeah. Hello, my darling from the nation. How are you? How are we? You would not believe it, but I'm not feeling good today. I dragged myself up to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, washed my hair, and put on my always fabulous favorite DVF. This is a long dress. Should I get up? It's got, you know, the beautiful long wrap all the way down. I live for it. I've got only two that are super long, and these are my hello to my home, let's have drinks and fruit kind of outfit so we're wearing this today because we are going to talk about for the very first time and i don't know why but you guys were in my dms and because we're doing more fashion you guys said for me why don't you give us your top 10 fabulous looks that megan markle duchess of sussex ever wore i love her i wish she was back in england i love 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 her i think she's beautiful 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 girl and uh, she really stepped up and out and gave us some looks i also wanted to help some of you guys because all of us have a shape as you very well know i'm tall but girl has got big boobs megan has a short torso and i think she executed her style so very well to accompany her short torso there's nothing wrong with having a short torso it is what it is some girls have super long legs and a short torso some girls are pear shaped some girls are small busted some long necks all kinds the trick of it is to know how to dress without a beat wearing stella mccartney was her dress that she wore for her wedding reception for me that was when i began to see the glamour and she wore one beautiful ah, aqua marine that's why i wore this aqua marine ring that had belonged to princess diana and had been handed down to harry of course he gave to his beloved that dress was fabulous for a high torso this was the best thing you have to bring everything up She's small busted and so it was completely backless and it was so gorgeous. That was when I said, uh, Meghan Markle's about to do one or two things up in here. I absolutely lived for it. Another trivia, the wedding ring that William gave to Kate, that ring was actually given to Harry. But you see, William got married first. And you know how guys are. <laughs> I know Megan was like, what? <laughs> Harry gave it to William. I said, well, you're getting married. Give her mommy's ring. That beautiful, beautiful sapphire with diamonds. Kate ended up getting it. But the ring actually went to Harry. But I'm not mad because that aquamarine ring, fabulous. As a matter of fact, let me take it back a notch. When Harry and Meghan were dating, I think they went to the Vixus games. Abi Ula, Invixus? Yeah. Yes, the Invixus games. And she wore a beautiful husband shirt. I think the fashion house belongs to her friend. And then she wore like ripped jeans with a raw hem. It was, it is very Meghan. And again, because of that short torso, you just let half the shirt out and half the shirt tuck in. It is a gorgeous look, really truly for anybody. And I did that for my monochrome orange and you guys live for it. It's a staple for me. I started to do that in California when I was living out there and I was like, why half in, half out? And then it began to kind of look sort of cool. And I just love that casual, relaxed, the hair, you know, so fabulously relaxed and she was wearing sunshades. It was just a really fun look. She had like a brown tote bag and I absolutely loved her here. Very casual, very fun. This is how you can do your school run wearing this outfit, shirt and jeans, easy. So, so, so easy. And you can button it up, 
to make it really mom appropriate or you can button it down and you can still go out with your girls just switch it up with the heels this is a fun look that i absolutely enjoyed megan marco wearing and then it was prince charles's 70th birthday yeah baby and she wore a gold flavia silk crepe pencil dress oh it was everything it was just glamour i remember when i first saw her i said could this be a situation where she's going to bring the Diana glam all over again? Megan is one of the most photographed women in the world to date. But when she had just gotten married to Harry, she had that Megan effect. Kate had the Kate effect as well. Anything they wore, it sold out. And this silk crepe pencil dress was giving glamour. It was covered and it was still showing femininity. The hat was something else, and it just gave me life. Hat just, you know, to the side. I think it was Philip Tracy. I think, don't quote me on it. I think it was Philip Tracy. And I said, yes, Megan, give it to me. She wore pumps by Tamara Mellon. Tamara Mellon, I think she had Jimmy Choo. Tamara Mellon, yeah. And I think she went on to have her own line, and she parted ways with Jimmy Choo. So this heel also very gorgeous, cut out in the inside to elongate the leg. She had her hair pulled back and she looked beautiful with a little clutch. It was, it was everything. I loved this dress. I would wear this dress today. I lived for it. I think she was going for a wedding. Yes, she was going for a wedding. Harry also accompanied her and it was this beautiful Oscar de la Renta flowy dress. It was just so feminine, so beautiful and very English. That was the irony of it all, even though it was Oscar de la Renta. I loved it, loved the little hat, the heels. I think she was wearing Aqua Azura as well. Aqua Azura, she really, brought aqua azura he does heels i have a couple of them myself she really brought him to the forefront not that he wasn't there before he was but because she was wearing him on a regular and she also wore him to make her announcement when one fabulous white coat aqua azura just became that shoe to get yes 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 and I love this. It was simple. You can eat at the wedding. You don't have to stress, you know. It was a maxi dress like this one. I get it. I see where she was going. She wanted to be relaxed. She didn't want to take away from the bride, you know. So this beautiful pale blue is gorgeous. I lived for it. She jumped onto a yellow boat neck midi dress by Brandon Maxwell. This shade of yellow just gives me life. I've worn the shade of yellow many times. Again, that boat neck, because she has a high waist, this just brings everything to fluidity avenue. She looks fluid, she looks crisp, she looks sharp, and I like that over the knee length. It just completes everything with a nude heel. She did that, she did that to me, and I loved it very fresh, very simple. And you know what I love about this? You can wear a coat over this. Any color from black to white to orange to yellow, you can wear, you could even purple on this dress and it will work. It's a simple sheath dress that is life. That is absolutely everything. She wore an incredible Jason Wu dress to the 100 Days to Peace concert and it had frills. I have a dress like that. I have a dress like that. Let me get it, hold on. There you go. I think I might wear it uh, in the next couple of days. And it's got this ruffled frills, the front and back. This is by Giambattastia Valley, and he did a limited collection with H&M. Yeah, with H&M. Gorgeous, so feminine. And that was the first inkling that she might be with child. And indeed she was. It was a lovely blue. It was concentrated right in front to hide the tummy. Very well executed. She wore Oscar de la Renta again. And this was to the Australian Graphic Gala. Beautiful. Loved it. You see how she makes the short torso and her wide waist look effortless 
because she wears these dresses that just flow out and that complements her. She's got beautiful little petite ankles and this dress was everything. I think there were birds that were all over the dress and then it just kind of opened through and the dress was gorgeous. The dress was gorgeous. It was very appropriate. I lived for it. Back onto Duchess duties. Girlfriend wore Roland Morat. I love this dress. I loved it. I think that they could have altered it a tad, but I love the taupe. I'm looking for a Birkin bag because I sold the one that I had. I want a Birkin bag this color because it will go with everything. It will go with everything. And I love this dress. Sadly, it's not available for any one of us. Like I said, everything goes fast. But she was on her Duchess duties and she wore this dress. And I thought, yes, 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 yes. They could have opened it up a little bit at the shoulder so that it didn't look too tight. But I love the skirt of it. I love the waist of it. I loved this on her. Yeah. And they could have maybe shortened the, le the arm length to this one. Or they could have made it longer. But all in all, I just couldn't get rid of this look. I absolutely loved it. She went on to wear self-portrait. Gorgeous. She arrived in Tonga and she wore this beautiful Russian red dress. And it had like a very thin waist. So it had a very thin belt. It is a fabric belt, so it's not structured. And it really complemented her. Again, femininity is key fluidity is key i personally do that myself anything that is chiffon is going to look softer it's going to soften you anything chiffon will soften you and this was a gorgeous red dress that looked soft on her she wore a purple dress and that just gave me royalty she was letting us know that it was time for her to really just, you know, come into her own and find her place. Because you see, being, um, being royalty, and she always will be that regardless, you have to dress in a certain conservative way. At the same time, you can really truly be stylish. She went out to the event One Young World opening ceremony and she wore the artist Zia dress. But it was this rich, rich, rich purple. And it was so pretty. Again, what? It flowed at the bottom. Didn't it just? Yes, it did. Are we loving the eyes, my darling? You know, I've softened myself. I think because I'm getting older. I'm 53. And I find myself... If I wear softer makeup and I don't have really big exaggerated lashes, I do my hair just so, it keeps you looking youthful, it doesn't age you. So this, my darling, is a combination of, of two colors, a green and a blue. And it is by Juvia's Place, I think it's the Warrior Palette 3. There we go, you see? And what I did was that I mixed this shade and this shade to get something like that. And you know what I did and what I'm doing now also? I'm not wearing primer. Why? Because I don't need the shadow to be seen from 25 buildings away. No, keep it soft so that they can see a hue of color. Do you want me to do an episode makeup for your 50s? Because I promise you it's really changed from how I wore makeup in my 40s. Because you guys see for me, you look good, you look fresh. When you hit your 50s, and I'm approaching my middle 50s, it's going to be all about skin, all about teeth, all about eyes, all about brows, all about hair. You really go back to your natural, and that's what makes you look really pleasant to the eye. Back to Megan. So Megan wore this beautiful purple dress, and I was living for it. She also wore a gorgeous trench dress. I think she wore this to South Africa as well. And um, it's from Noni Official Trench Dress. And I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Me being me, I would have worn this trench dress with the trench coat. <sighs> now, wouldn't that have been a look? But I loved it. She's got wonderful arms. And again, this really compliments her to no end. 
Meghan Markle, as we all found out, and we had our suspicions, but yes, 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 she was expecting. She was with child. And one of the most beautiful dresses she wore with like a wrapped neck was a Calvin Klein dress that she wore to the gala performance of the Winter Earth in support of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. And she looked fabulous. It's sad in a way. It really is because Megan, she really just glistened up the United Kingdom. We needed color, no pun intended, but we needed color. We needed glamour. We needed we needed some jasmatas, and Megan brought it. She wore a Gucci coat that was embellished on the shoulders. I said, Megan, don't kill us, don't come for us. Again, wearing aqua azura heels, she wore a little clutch. She arrived at the New Zealand house in London. She just looked absolutely gorgeous. Her hair, you could tell she was pregnant. The hair just looked luscious. It looked healthy. I was the same way when I was pregnant with Adrian. My hair was long and it was thick. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was everything. We're going to flip back just for a minute. I love this picture. It was with um, Kate and with Kate's sister. They had gone to Wimbledon in support of Serena Williams. And these were the good times. And she wore Manolo Blanik heels. The shirt was from Givenchy. The skirt was Hugo Boss and uh, Stella McCartney with the clutch. That was such a lovely, easy summer look. Wimbledon is amazing in England. Oh my God, that season, everybody dresses up and you get to go to the Wimbledon village and uh, you can shop around and have wonderful lunch and you get to really bump into all of the tennis players. It's a, it's a wonderful time, it truly is. And she looked fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Another picture which I loved was when Megan arrived at the National Theatre, one of her official patronages as a matter of fact. And um, she was wearing Brandon Maxwell. Again, a dress and a coat. And this was like a blush cream, I think. And it was so beautiful. The clutch was Carolina Herrera. And she was wearing Aqua Azura heels. I think that Aqua Azura for her is her go-to. It works for her. She went on to wear Givenchy official and arrived at the annual Endeavor Fund Awards with her husband, Harry. And this was a full shirt and skirt, but it actually was a dress. And Givenchy, who made her wedding dress, also created this one as well. She wore Givenchy again. I live for it. And uh, this was at the Fashion Awards to honor Claire Wright Keller, who made her wedding dress. And her wedding dress was simple. It had to be simple because you're going to look back on the dress. She's a princess. It couldn't be any kind of sexy at all. It was not one of my favorites, I have to admit it, but she looked absolutely ravishing. It was the reception dress that got my attention and I absolutely lived for it. The last couple of dresses were to me, I'm getting up and out of here. And that dress was Emilia Wickstead. The dress was fabulous. She was wearing Aqua Azura heels. And she had a couple of assignments to do before they decided to step down and move to California. And this green just screamed envy. Envy me because I know I'm badass. I am living with my man. I'm living with my child and I don't know when I'll be back. <laughs> it was a keep dress. Flawless. You know how I love monochrome. She did this. She said, you know what? My last little duties up in here, I'll do them. But I'll do them up to my style and standard. This dress will forever be timeless. And I loved the netting over the green hat. It just pulled it together. I was like, Megan, don't do them like this. You're stepping on these royal necks. Needless to say, she was back sooner than she expected. Like I said, they had stuff to do. And she came back in a Victoria Beckham gorgeous dress and sashayed in the rain, looking like a million dollars. That's how you do it. That's how you show them that, you know what? I am here and I am a professional. This is what they want for models. They don't care whether it's cold, windy, raining. You've got to deliver the shot. 
and she delivered the shot and this was huge manolo blanik's were the heels of the moment she had a stella mccartney clutch i noticed also in her style archive not only did she support british designers she supported female british designers she's a girl's girl she supports women i love me some megan markle from the very second harry and her were dating i was like yes please yes please because harry had that nickname harry potter because he was really just the spare so he really relaxed and he partied and he did his thing and he used to wear a bunch of african bracelets and i said you know what this boy right here he is his mother's son he could go for a couple of shades of chocolate let's see how we're doing this and uh, that's how it came about with uh, the beautiful Megan. They've got two beautiful children, Lilibet and um, Archie. Funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. She wore a Stella McCartney cape dress. She had worn this dress before in blue and she got it made for her ASAP in black. It is one of the most outstanding outfits I have seen Megan in and she looked absolutely beautiful. I loved this, I loved the hat, I loved the gloves, I loved everything, absolutely everything. Again, very, very respectful, right up to the neck. And there was nothing out of place in this look for Megan. And that is it, my darlings, that is it. Those are my favorite looks that my darling Meghan Markle has worn of all time. You guys, let me know if you want me to do celebrities' top 10 best looks or celebrities' best looks that I think are fabulous because you have what Vogue would say is great or whatever. But if you want to ask me and say, for me, you know what? My body shape is very much like Meghan Markle's. So can you go over some of the best looks and I will go over the best looks like I've done here and explain why they were great looks. Like, as you can see, in majority of her looks, there were dresses. She very, very seldom wore pants. And if she wore trousers, she had the shirt out, you know, giving it some kind of personality to her beautiful figure. You know, again, like I said, we're all gorgeous. We're all butterflies. There was a guy in the comment section who said, as soon as I said, all women are butterflies, he left the chat. <laughs> So you know what? I'm going to say it again. All women are beautiful. We do not cater to your idea of what beauty is. We are confident, we are fabulous, and we are beautiful. And we stand in solidarity against men that depict what we should look like. How about that? Okay? All right, my darlings, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to share. Leave all of your comments right down there in the comment section. And I will see you very, very soon, my loves. I live for you. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>